is the work piece you can see in these lovely packages right here. Uh, 21 kilos of uh, ultimate potential that I'm looking forward to assembling today and um, I hope you'll follow me along on this journey of exploring this, the work bee, um, assembling it, running some programs, making some stuff and hopefully having an all-around good time. I wanted a, a CNC machine now for a while or a CNC router. Uh, a lot of ideas that I want to build and um, after doing my research the guys over at Ooze Nest with their work bee, uh, CNC um, seemed like they fit the deal for what I needed. Um, very happy with the, the, the stuff I've received so far, very fast shipping time, uh, very easy to use website and um, just generally really good um, really good from what I've uh, seen. So follow me on this journey as we kind of I'll build it, um, make some stuff, run some programs and we'll see what we can get out of it. So this is what showed up to my door uh, yesterday, um, two nice big packages, I think 21 and a half kilos um, combined. Um, I really like the kind of, it's this destined, uh, destined to a maker on the box, which is kind of nice. Um, I assume the long trusses are in here and kind of everything else is in there. Um, I'll link the kind of specific bill that I got um, in the description. Into the first box now. It took a while to saw through all of it. But right there in the end, quite excited to see what we have. Some nice packaging, stop everything moving around, and onto the first truss sections, wrapped up in a nice uh, plasticky fabric thing. And I believe these are the screws that will control it. So let's have a look in a bit more depth. We've got our screws, we've got some trusses, loads of metal parts. I'll open this one up. Don't want to make too much of a mess because I don't want loads of little parts falling around. Nicely labeled there, and here's the screws that control the X, Y, and Z ones. Onto the second box. This is much heavier. Well, they're both heavy, but this one is uh, particularly heavy. Let's get into it as safely as I can. Don't want to cut myself. More paper. Uh, stop everything moving around. And straight away, loads of boxes. Uh, this is 3D printed. I believe it's for holding the router in. A bracket for the router depending on which one you get. I got the Makita. Some drag chain assemblies. This keeps all our wiring nice and nice and tidy. Two of them, one for X and one for Y weave. Power cable into the smallest box. I have to be careful this don't want to make a complete mess so I won't take everything out of every package, but it's very well packaged there. You can kind of see the names and every you can't lose these bits. Or you can't Put the wrong one in the wrong place and these are really the instructions onto this nice big box quite heavy and our power supply very very nifty it's all there it's all labeled very nicely again not going to take it out onto the next one more 3d printed parts very high quality 3d printed and another one these are more 3d printed parts and these, some static, these are controllers for the CNC, I believe, and the Makita. So this is the powerhouse of our actual router. These are it's quite, it's heavier than I thought it was, but I guess it has to be. And hopefully that will keep it all. Give me some nicely finished parts into this smaller box that's hidden inside. This is the mechanical kit. Straight away, some really nice uh, instructions very well laid out, kind of like a big Lego set. As to two of them. Again, nicely packaged. So I'll get rid of some of this. I like kind of plastic Cheetos. Don't eat them any, you can eat it in them anyway. Some ball, uh, ball bearings and the Z bracket, because there's one that goes up and down. Smaller box first. And the stepper motors. So there's four of these in total, look quite beefy. Leave them again in the package. More, more knickknack screws, everything. Another box, more stepper motors, won't bother opening that one. I need to this one. More nuts, more washers, lots of small things that I've no idea what they will do just yet. And again, into this next box. More stuff. Really, it's hard to really know exactly where each of these 
pieces will be used, but I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. And really nice uh, metal metal pieces made of aluminium. Everything's quite nicely finished. Nice black coating on them. Uh, so a few dozen of these these parts. These are really nicely finished and very very well packaged. So there's no scraping them. Any of them. Just trying to put them back together here now. And here's our finished one, success. These are all the parts in the boxes. Won't uh, take it out much more. Finished. So thanks to Uzness for uh, what seems to be a really well packaged and um, really, uh, it's certainly going to be complex to put together, but really looking forward to doing it. And um, so uh, work B looks like a great, um, a great CNC for someone like myself who's background in engineering um, and I've put together Whole bunch of weird stuff over the years. This will um, uh, this will certainly certainly helps that all of this stuff is really well labeled and really well kind of laid out. And so I think it'll be hard to put to go wrong um, as I as I assemble this and as I start cranking out some uh, hopefully nice designs. Got a lot to learn. Uh, I've learned a lot so far on this journey. But uh, follow me now and continue to hopefully learn a bit more about uh, CNC machining and uh, or CNC routering. I uh, don't know if there's a difference and um, if you've got any suggestions or um, comments leave them in the uh, leave them in the comment section uh, I'm no pro at this by any means so um, hopefully I'll put it all together correctly uh, so thanks for b and uh, and Uznas for a great um, great CNC machine uh, I think this one cost me about uh, it's probably about 1800 euro now for the um, this model, I will post the full specs down below. I believe it's the one meter by 750 millimeters um, size with the screw driven um, and the router included. And I didn't get the dust hood, so so cool. So that's all for me for the moment. I'll try to get another video of kind of assembling this out in the next few uh, days or weeks. And um, so, uh, yeah, any problems or any questions, just leave them in the uh, description box or description box. Blah blah blah. The comment section below. You